Where's Mr. Crocker when you need him? Alright, what's good YouTube? This is your boy Jakari from uh, Twisted Nightmare Gaming and I'm back at you with another uh, video. Uh, this is going to be the newest episode of Low Tier for Life. Um, but, and if you saw the Facebook post for the YouTube channel, I said what deck this was going to be. Um, there is a twist to it, but that, and that is, as you can see, you see Artifact Scythe in the main, and you see Lancy in the extra deck, I mean in the side deck, sorry about that. Um, but there are a few changes to this deck from the original Counter Fairy deck that I did like a year and change ago. Um, and then as you also see, first card in the extra deck is Cyber Drag. But we'll get there. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's get started. First, and like I said before, three Scythe, two Artemis, to Condemned Witch, which literally facilitates two major aspects of this deck. Um, she's the only non-light fairy in this deck. She is still a fairy, but of course, as you see, she's Condemned Witch, so she is a dark fairy. Um, on the normal summon, she gets you the uh, Quick Play Spell card. A Forbidden Quick Play Spell card, to, to be specific, from the deck. And then uh, on your opponent's turn, tri quick effect tributor special summon a level four light fairy, a level four fairy from your uh, deck to your hand. I mean deck to the field. Sorry about that. Special summon. So, yeah. Um, the card that you want to see on your first turn, no questions asked. Guiding Ariadne. Uh, you don't normally summon Ariadne. You normally pendul You normally scale her every time you see her because in scale you it means you don't have to pay for any counter trap cost any of them and we run a lot of heavy we run a lot of counter traps so it's the whole point of the deck being called counter fairies Three Honest, two Minerva, and two Val Power Angel Valkyria. You already know what Honest does. Damage Step, send, just send her from the hand to the grave, gain your opponent, you know, one light monster on your side of the field, gain your opponent's attack. We don't use him for the put him back in your hand effect because you hardly ever summon him. Um, Minerva, it's when a trap card is activated, each time a trap card is activated, uh, after resolution of the, the trap card, it, mind you, it is your, your trap card. Um, this card permanently gains 500 attack, so it does stack every single time a counter trap resolves. Uh, and when it does, it, if Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field... Uh, you get to add a counter trap with a different name from the one activated from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, Power Angel Valkyria. Every time a, uh, if you negate the activation of a spell, trap, or monster effect, uh, add a light fairy monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use that. It's a once per, hard once per turn, so. Then, of course, because you're running a whole hell of a lot of fairies, Arch Lord Christia, Double Sacred, Sacred Arc Aeronite Parshath, which you hardly ever normal summon this damn thing. You nine times out of ten summon it by one of the counter traps in this deck in particular. And then, one that, I, and then the last fairy, the last monster in the main deck. That just so ha comes in handy very often. One copy of Trickstar Corbane. 
And Corbain's literally in here for the free special summon. That's literally the only reason why it's in here. It's in there to be a body. But it ends up coming in handy. Now with the Condemned Witch, the first spell card in uh in the first spell card in the deck, uh, and the only forbidden spell that I play is Chalice. Uh little known on uh, little known fact, most people who if you watched any of the previous videos know at one point in time I had a play set of droplet. I sold those to help somebody out. So we switched up and decided to use Chalice in the deck. Now, when I get droplets again, and it's not an if, it is a when. When I get Forbidden Droplet again, um, I am going to play this deck with Droplet because the whole point of me actually building this deck again was actually to play it with Droplet and Condemned Witch. But Chalice does work for what I want it to do because it does work as a uh, monster, neg <laughs> monster negation, so... Effect negation. So, uh, one feather duster, one monster born. Triple duality, which might end up getting switched out for a uh, pot of disparity when it does come out in the States. Uh, one regeki. Terraforming. All right. And double sanctuary in the sky. And double the sanctum of Parshaft. Sanctum of Parshaft literally goes as follows. This card's name becomes Sanctuary in the Sky. So you're playing technically five copies of Sanctuary because of the terraforming. Um, while on the field and in the graveyard. Um, fairy monsters gain 300 attack. Uh, defense, uh, uh, set spells and traps can't be negated, can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Um, once per turn... You can target up to three fairy monsters and or three counter traps with different names in your graveyard. Place them at the top of your deck in any order. So, it is the main way you recur your counter traps. And when you need them, fairy monsters. And then the last spell in the deck is two twin twisters. The third is in the side. I think I might have taken that out. But I've been running that too, so it does happen to work for me. Um, now to the counter trap. The traps and... Actually, yeah. The majority traps, counter traps, and then the one non-counter trap. So, one divine punishment. I was running this at three, but if I don't have Sanctuary in the Sky or Sanctum of Parshaf on the field, this card is dead in my hand. It becomes a reveal card. Uh, punishment literally goes, uh, spell trap or monster, uh, effect is activated while sanctuary is on the field. Negate the activation if you do destroy it. Uh, divine wrath. So discard a card from your hand, negate the activation of an effect monster and destroy it. Uh, double rebirth of Parshath. This is the one that gets you uh, Sacred uh, Arc Air Knight. Because that's normally what you're going to go with for it. Um, when a spell trap or monster effect is activated, reveal a counter trap in your hand. Then discard one card and pay a thousand life points. Negate the activation if you do shuffle that card into the deck. Then you can special summon one Parshaft monster from your deck or extra deck. That comes in handy because that does mean I have more than just the the sacred air knight arc air knight parshath in the in the main. I do have a couple targets in the extra. Um, and, but the problem is, is if you okay, all right, cool. Um, problem is, is when you bring them out from that effect, they don't end up being able to be summoned back. Um. 
that's fine. We don't worry about it. And then, uh, you know, modest, solemn package, double judgment, double strike, and the one warning. Now, what might end up happening is, is in the end, I'm probably going to either go up to three or three and then leave that at one. And then whichever one I don't go to three, I'll keep at two. Um, and then the last counter trap is two copies of Ultimate Providence. And then Providence. Spell Trap or Moss Effect is activated. Discard the same uh, type of card, either Spell Trap or Monster. Uh, negate the activation if you do destroy the card. Alright, so the reason why I was saying, just to go back real quick to the monsters, the reason why I was saying you want Ariadne on the field in your uh in in scale is because literally it mitigates you having to pay for the solemns it mitigates you having to discard for this but you do have to reveal that you have the corresponding type uh card type in your hand and then for um divine punishment you don't have to pay for the life you don't have to pay the life points for it and you just have to uh, reveal that you have another card, but the card, the counter, the counter trap that you have in your hand could technically be the card that you discard that you would that you would have discarded. But with this on field, you don't have to discard it. And then the last card in the main deck is one copy of Waking the Dragons. So, and Waking the Dragons is actually kind of funny in this deck. I. I have gotten it off a few times. It's actually really fun. It's really fun to hit somebody with Waking the Dragon. Yeah, have them pop your shit and just you go, oh, cool. Waking the Dragons activates. Wait, what? Exactly. Um. Hence the reason why you saw the Cyber and Dragon. That is actually the one of the main targets for it. Um. And then the side deck, the Triple Lancia. The third Artemis, the third Witch, and the third Ariadne. And then Vanity's Ruler. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. So it's here. Here's the thing: it's either I'm going to Vanity's Ruler my opponent, or I'm going to Christia. I cannot. Physically get both on the field at the same time. So. I mean. It takes a while if I get both on the field. But if I get Christy on the field. Then I can get that on the field. But then I'm screwed with Christy. So. Uh, but if I get this on the field. Then I can still special summon. Um, the third chalice. Uh, double D barrier. Triple Imperm, the third partial well, rebirth, and then the second uh, waking the dragons. So that was a side. I think I side every once in a while, and like I said, specifically, I'll probably side out or I'll side in, side out. Yeah, I'll side out the uh, the Christia for Vanity's ruler. And then I'll probably side out something else for the, th uh, the third chalice. It's a rare occasion that I de-barrier or imperm, actually. Because you want the counter traps. So. Alright, and then to the extra deck. One Cyber End Dragon. Borshin Dragon. Um, double celestial night lord parshaft, so he is technically a target. Um, two herald of the mirage light, two hippo shinigan, one secure gardener. Which, honest to god, I don't remember why I put secure gardener in here at this point. Uh, because I don't think I even have any cybers in here. Yeah, I actually don't. So that'll probably get yanked out for probably the third hippo shinigan. 
I think that was my placeholder for my third horse shenanigan. My hippo, third hippo shenanigan. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Oh, well. Uh, so, at, for right now, is a kind of a wasted spot. But it is what it is. I do not regret that. I don't really summon a lot of monsters out of my extra deck. So, if I really wanted to go into something like Triple Pride of Extrav, I could. Um, and then... The rest, the rest of the monsters in the extra deck are all exceeds monsters. So, uh, one Pallades, kind of, kind of self-explanatory, simply because you run the um, the artifacts. One uh, Zeus's batteries, Utopia and Lightning. Uh, another Waking the Dragons target with uh, Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon, which is normally V target and then one time def one time thief redoer um this deck is incredibly low tier it is incredibly linear i do have fun playing the deck um it can brick um you can pay yourself out if you don't have ariadne so like i said Number one goal is to find a way to get Ariadne in your opening hand every time. Because it's going to be the thing that facilitates uh, the reason why you really play this deck. Um, But let me know what you think. Let me know if I should change anything in the deck if you actually play this deck. Uh, not many people play this deck. Side note. Um... Come on now, you guys know me. I I play, I play decks that are not conventional to most people. I do have a deck that is going to be somewhat conventional because uh, you know it's part of the whole Drytron hype. But I am not doing the Herald build of Drytrons. Let you let that be known right now. There's there might be a Herald in there, but it's not the main focus. For the deck. Um, only a select few actually know what I'm doing with that deck. Uh, so I will let that be a surprise when that video does come up. Uh, I know I promised a damn Mayakashi deck. Um, I know I did. I just haven't gotten around to actually profiling it. Uh, but... Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, folks, and um, hit the bell for all future notifications. This has been your boy Jakari from Twisted Nightmare Gaming, signing off.